Okay, since last time, the only thing that I've done off camera is I went in and I put them on separate layers like that. I had made just one um, crossbar between them there, and I scaled everything way up. As you can see, I just scaled it super far, made it huge. And I went in, and as you can see, this back end is filled in. I just went to my edge mode and selected this back ring like that and hit P and it filled it in for me okay so this is where we're at right here still the basic model where we was at just a few tweaks that I put to it off camera at back here as you can see I wedged this face I don't think we talked about it in a previous video and I tell you how to wedge faces in other videos because this video is kind of an intermediate video with assumed prior knowledge that I don't have to explain everything that you all can just kind of watch what I've done and kind of pick up on it so let's go ahead and build our little machinery here that's going to help drive our wheels so let's go ahead and get a cylinder like so and actually you know what we're going to build it right here I'm not going to build it inside my sideboards layer so I'm going to grab the cylinder and I'm going to draw out a cylinder I'm not sure how big, I'm just guessing here. Maybe three point, let's just say 3.8. We'll make this 3.82. Okay, so now let's go ahead and draw this cylinder out like this. Go to the beginning there, like that, and it's gonna go all the way back to about right here. And I think that's a little too big, don't you? So, let us make it maybe, I'm gonna say, two millimeters, or two meters by two meters. It's a little bit better, isn't it? Still not very big, so we'll try three meters, or maybe maybe two point five. And let's put her in place here, and that's looking okay, I guess. I still think it could be a tad bigger, so let's go ahead and up this a little bit. We'll make it two point eight. Uh, that's a little bit better. And I'll scoot it in close here. Like so. Okie dokie. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and bring it down. Like so. And I'm going to get a cube. And I'm going to drag out a cube. Like so. And we'll size it up, get a little less wide, a little less tall. And I guess that's looking okay, still a little wide. Okay, that's looking okay. So let's take this cube. And let's copy and paste it and duplicate it, you know, bring it over here. And we'll make it a little, this one a little smaller. And we'll put it down here. Why not? So now let's grab this. And let's grab this polygon. Let's bevel them out so we can make them have a top. So we'll shift click. And we'll bring it up. Uh, they got a top to them like that. And I, just for touches, I'm going to get a little cylinder. And I'm going to draw a little cylinder in here. Just to connect the two. Like so. Now you can go in later and put touches onto it like o-rings around the, where the pipes go in at and stuff. 
Okay, that's looking okay, I guess. I got a pop there. Now let's go ahead and put one. I want to bevel this front cap a little bit. In like that. Now let's go ahead and make one more cylinder. Right on top here. And we'll drag it up. Like so. Bring it down to about to where it's making contact with our box we just made. And let's rotate it in. Not the whole thing, mind you. Just the <laughs> cylinder. Rotate it a little more. Okay, now we're getting a pop there. So let's go ahead and reduce the radius of that a little bit. And bring it forward. Like so. Now we got a pop going in there like that. Now we can select our wheel and copy it and bring it down here like so and we're going to scale it up like so we don't want it to be too too big okay and it still looks like it's a little far up compared to the front wheel there and I'm going to select that back polygon and I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. So now we have that wheel there in place. We'll connect it up in our next video and then go on down and make the rest of the wheels. Well, here's what we got so far. Okay. We'll see you all in the next video.